it's Kitty with another new video. So today I'm starting up my scratch tutorials again because the other ones weren't as up to date. So I'm going to be calling this the advanced tutorials. So if you're wondering uh, why, you know, my background looks like this on Chrome or Google, it's just from the Chrome Web Store. It's just a background. Um, I didn't like jailbreak my thing or anything. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a FNAF scratch game. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, search up scratch, scratch dot mit dot edu and then of course it's going to go to my uh, profile since I go on my profile the most but for now let's just go to the actual like regular scratch page so once you're here you're going to see this I'm obviously signed into a, an account so what you actually want to do is make sure you sign into an account before otherwise you won't be able to save but anyway yeah so you see this you want to hit the create button and it should open up a menu. Also, oh, these tutorials are in 3.0. The other ones were in 2.0. So there is going to be certain things that have changed because of the new editor and stuff. So open up this little menu right here. And you'll see you have all this stuff. Now, we're just going to call this game. You'll see we have a little title here. We're just going to call it something like, I don't know, one... It's going to be a one night tutorial, but I'm gonna, I will show you, like, there's going to be a bonus episode how to do five nights. So let's call it one night at, uh, what should we call it? Furot? No, one night at Toots? I don't know. Let's just say Toots, because, like, a total. Um, see, there we go. And now what we can do is, you see the sprite right here? We're going to make a little intro, because you know how games have that. So what you want to do is you're on code right now, you want to hit costumes, then click on costume 2, hit delete, that little trash can button. Now if you want to zoom out, just hit this magnifying glass right here and zoom out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a bitmap right here. And where it says fill, we're going to click on that and then drag this to black. And then click on it, the empty space, and now we got it black. So now we're going to hit the text button. We're going to change the brightness to 100 and saturation to 0. Then now we can play around with the font. So whatever font you want, those handwriting, marker, curly, pixel, uh, Chinese. For this instance, we're going to use pixel. I usually use that one. So we're, what we're going to type is made in scratch, which should be pretty easy. Now what we're going to do is hit the text again, and now we, we can play around for with where it goes, and we're going to make it bigger, just, you know, center it a little bit, and then we're going to convert it to vector, and then we're going to hit save, just in case, you know, something happens, we have to hit save, so now it should say project save, and now we can go to code, and we're going to go to those, we're just going to say zero, zero, just click on, and what we also want to do is go to looks again, and switch costume to costume one, since it's going to be a little animation I guess um so now what we want to do is go to control we want to go wait one second but we're gonna change this to 2.5 seconds just like that and then we're gonna go to looks again and we're gonna go change color effect by 25 but we're gonna change the color to brightness and we're gonna change that effect to negative one and we're going to repeat is we're gonna drag a repeat from the control when it says repeat 10 put one repeat 100 and then hit save and now it should look like this if I show you now it's gonna wait 2.5 seconds and you can tell it's getting darker right here which is what we want and then so it doesn't stay dark permanently we want to clear graphic effects which means all effects we put on it are gonna be gone and now that we've done this, we're going to paint another sprite, which it says choose a costume, and then there's going to be a little paintbrush. We're going to do that. And then we're going to convert it to bitmap again, and then make it black, and then convert it to vector. And then what we're going to do is select, let's say, some sort of color for our text that's going to say made by or our, like, whatever we call ourselves, like, Biscuit Dog or something like that. Obviously, you're not going to put that because you're not me, but whatever. Just put what you are. 
So I'm going to do a little cool thing here. You know, I'm going to set it to like a yellow made. <clears throat> okay, and now that we've done that, we're going to hit save once again. Go back to the code, and when it says sprite 1, we're going to call this intro. <clears throat> Just like that. And now it's, the name should be intro and everything. And now that we've done that, after clear graphic effects, you want to switch costume to costume 2. Remember to save a lot. <clears throat> and after we switch costume to costume 2, we're going to go wait. We're essentially going to do the same code that we did before. It should look like this if you've done it correctly. It should get darker, just like that. And then it should say Made by Biscuit Games. And then that should hide too. And since it doesn't switch to any costume, it's going to stay on that one. And then next thing you want to do, this is a little bit of a cooler part, in my opinion, is of course you want to paint another costume, convert it to bitmap, make the background black, as always. And then what you want to do is you want to get, like, whatever color you want, really. I'm going to do, like, a little bit of a dark green. And we're going to write one night at turts, like, just like this. Now we're going to, of course, center that a little bit more and make it bigger just because we want to make it looking pretty nice. And now what we want to do is we can put little, like, you know, drips like this, just like that. And there. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to save it after clear graphic effects, switch costume to costume 3, and then... Set size to 10%, and then we're going to go repeat 140 times, change size by 1, so it should look like this once you've saved it. So, again, okay, it's just showing this, looks pretty good right now. Yeah, so see how it kind of comes into focus like that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put, wait one second, let's say 1.5 actually. So 1.5 seconds, hide. There, now it should be good. And just to make sure none of this code affects anything, we're going to put a stop all from here, except change it to other scripts in the sprite. Actually, what's more specifically this script, when it's save. And if you notice, there was white in the background, and it doesn't look as good. So for the backdrop right here, we're going to select backdrops. It's white right now. We're going to convert it to bitmap, and then black, like this. And we're going to do some like pretty simple coding. So wind flag is click, switch backdrop to backdrop 1. And we're going to call this intro backdrop, like intro black. Let's call it that. Um... So now, there, switch backdrop to intro black, and now that should be fixed completely. So now that we've done the intro and that stuff, and the code should look like this at the end. Pretty, just like, long stuff like that. Now we should add, like, a sound effect, like an eerie music. Now, I do have pre-recorded sounds. I wouldn't recommend using meow, obviously, because that's not going to really work. So, I do have a sound called, um, Q, so I'm gonna open that. And, see, we have this. And if you hear it... We could play that through the thing, so we have... And then what we wanna do to play that is start sound, FNAF 6, OST, credits, save. Just like that. And it's going to, um... Look like this. But one thing we have to make sure, too, is that we have to set the size to 100, because it sets the size to 140 in total. So we have to make sure at the start it resets the size. And that's what we've essentially done now. And see, it's uh, back to normal when it plays it. It works pretty well, as you can tell. See? There. Now it's not white in the background. Okay, now it hides, right? So that's good. 
Okay, now after that, what you want to do is make another sprite and call this warning. It's pretty simple. It's just going to be the warning that they have at the start of the game. So go to costumes, then make it black. Of course, go into bitmap. Then just put, um, just something like this. Just change the font to whatever you like. I'm going to do curly. I'm going to put put a big warning at the top of the screen make it a little bigger to how I like it just like that and then I'm gonna say this game contains flashing lights and loud noises oops I do not know how to spell right now noises this game contains flashing lights and loud noises it also contains jump scares, so play at your own risk. So play at your own risk. There we go, so that's all you pretty much want to write. You can just write something similar, I guess, to that. And the coding is very simple, too. Just when flag is clicked, hide. Just like so, go to front, just like that, go to zero, 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 and then at the end of this, we're going to, when it says stop the script, we're going to broadcast a new message, and that's going to be warning, just like that, and then when I receive warning, show, and then we're also going to put a little thing at the bottom here that says click to continue, just like this. And now that we've done that, writing that, we're just going to do this when spread is clicked, broadcast new message, menu, hide. Let's put a high block underneath it, and then stop other scripts in the sprite. There, now, uh, this is the finished project at the end of this episode, should look like this. There, so that's what it looks like at the end of this. It's um pretty good so far. Next episode, we're going to be doing the menu and all the animatronic uh, designs. So anyway, on that note, guys, bye!